Welcome back everyone, my name is Patrick, you're watching the Oilers Rundown. Well, it's been a couple days since I last checked in, so I thought I'd kind of bring you guys up to all the latest that I've seen. It's still obviously pretty quiet here in oil country. The Oilers aren't going to be doing a whole lot this summer, but we are three weeks out from free agency now, a little less than that till the drafts. So things should start to pick up here over the next little while with news. Tom Gazzola mentioned on the oil stream the other day that Derek Ryan is a priority for the Edmonton Oilers. Expect Derek Ryan to come back. He's a great third, fourth liner for them. Provided some great value. I think his contract is going to come in probably around a million or a little bit less than that. So on another one or two year deal, I'd prefer a one year deal. Excited to have Derek Ryan back. I think he's been a great oiler since he came in. So... I wouldn't be surprised if Derek Ryan is actually the first announcement that comes from the Edmonton Oilers over the next little while as far as a signing. And the other bit of news I had to go over, Alan Mitchell, a.k.a. Low Tide, over at The Athletic, put up another list of targets for us. So let's take a look at the list. Low Tide put up the following list, but as he mentions in the article, basically the Oilers have to start from Gustav Nyquist down on this list as the guys above that are probably going to be out of the Oilers' price range. Patrick Kane is going to miss the start of the season recovering from surgery, so he's not someone the Oilers could have right away anyway. So looking at the targets from Gustav Nyquist down, obviously we have Gustav Nyquist, Connor Brown, who we've talked about quite a bit, Pierre Engvall, Garnet Hathaway, Jesper Fast, and Evan Rodriguez. All these targets, of course, hinge on the Oilers moving out Kyler Yamamoto and his $3.16 million cap hit. These guys would all be potential replacements. He once again mentions Connor Brown signing on a one-year bonus-laden deal, helps the Oilers with the cap, can push the cap hit to next season. Low Tide mentions that Pierre Engvall's price tag is probably going to go too high for the Oilers. He continues to think the best available bet for the Oilers is Jesper Fast. His price tag should come in around or below Yamamoto's $3.1 million. The organization is looking for a responsible winger, and that is the strength of Fast. His 5-on-5 scoring numbers, while low, should be zoomed when playing with 97 or 29. It's a responsible, not sexy, signing. Low Tide does bring up possibly replacing Cody Cece, but at this point, I don't think that's going to happen. He lists Scott Mayfield as a strong target the Oilers could go after, but again, Scott Mayfield is probably going to have a higher cap hit than Cody Cece does now, so if the cap does only go up $1 million, as is expected at this time, it's going to be hard for the Oilers to bring in someone that costs more than Cody Cece in that position. Low Tide also looked at some fourth line options for the Edmonton Oilers, listing such players as Tyler Mott, Tyler Pitlick, Jonathan Taze, Nick Bugstad, Derek Ryan, Matthias Yamark, possible players the Oilers could bring back. He also lists Noah Philp as a player that could come up from Bakersfield and possibly make the team. I think Noah Philp has a strong chance of doing that, but again, it will depend on who the Oilers bring in as free agents or bring in via trade. And lastly, this is Low Tide's projected opening night lineup. Evander Kane, Connor McDavid and Zach Hyman, Nuge, Dreisaitl and Jesper Fast, Dylan Holloway, Ryan McLeod and Clem Costin, Matthias Yanmark, Jonathan Taze and Derek Ryan on the fourth line, Darnell Nurse and Cody Ceci, Matthias Ekholm and Evan Bouchard, Brett Kulak and Vincent DeArnay, and Philip Broberg, Raphael Lavoie and Devon Shore being the scratches. I don't see too many people outside of Low Tide mentioning Jesper Fast as a strong target for the Oilers. I think it is because he has those lower 5-on-5 five five numbers, but maybe that's what the Oilers need there is just a strong, dependable defensive forward who can see his numbers rise, like Low Tide mentions, playing with either Connor McDavid or Leon Dreisettle. But I think that's all I have for now, guys. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.